Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Today, a topic that I get asked a lot about, and someone recently said, well, I don't know if you, have you ever done a program on that? I'd love to see that. And so here we go. It's about how long do wild birds live? And in the program, we're going to give you some examples, but also what we're going to talk about is why a lot of rules that you think may apply to how, you know, how long birds live don't and why it's very hard to even generalize and, and how hard it is to actually know the age of birds and we're talking about you know, how what how the methods scientists use to to uh, find out how old birds are if you've ever heard me talk about the age of birds you know i generally start or preface it by most birds die within the first few months of their lives, especially the first year. And that is because like these Carolina Wren uh, young here, they have to learn the life skills to survive. So when they're young, uh, you know, they're not as leery, you know, they're, they're trying to learn from their parents, they fly into things, they get caught by predators easier because they don't know the escape uh, the strategies and things that adults do. So a lot of baby birds, like a lot of baby mammals and other animals out there, die within the first few months of their life. So if they can make it to that first year of life, then they have a chance to live to several years, just depending upon a lot of things. And that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about. So factors that you maybe not think that you know, of course, metabolism, how heart, how high the heart rate is and how uh, much they burn. You know, we think of, if you think of it in terms of mammals, and especially like your dogs, you're probably familiar with, we know that small dogs live quite a bit longer than large dogs. Uh, and in wildlife, that, that can be true, but it, as a whole, but it also, there's so many exceptions to that rule. And in, in birds, um, you know, the smallest birds we think of, of course, are hummingbirds. And we know they have this super high metabolisms because their heart rate is so high. Uh, and you think, well, they're, they've got to be like the, the, the shortest lived birds out there because they're going to uh, burn out. Uh, you know, Their heart's going to give out after beating so fast for so long. Um, well, not so much. I mean, they, they, hummingbirds live surprisingly long. I mean, you know, and, and this broad-billed hummingbird in the, the desert southwest actually lives a bit, little bit longer than like the ruby throat does in the east. So you, you, it can be anywhere from six to eight years. And then like this, this hummingbird here, and they think they have them like documented up to 12 years old. So that's pretty good for an animal that's heart rate is that size. It's and, and that fat beats that fast. The larger birds are famous for living a bit longer. Uh, and there's a lot of factors that go into that. It's like the bald eagle, it takes four years to reach uh, sexual maturity, even five years before you see the white head and the and the white tail. So that bird is aging, you know, in, in that terms, not nesting as much and things like that when they're very young and they're aging a little bit slower. And they they have like, they, you know, one nest, nest a year, they have a few babies and that's one of the things we use. And you can estimate if a bird lives longer than other birds and that is if it has less young. Birds that have lots of young, like morning doves, they don't live it that long, uh, but they have lots of babies to compensate for it. And so they, they, they're they reproducing just dip, it's different strategies that, that how animals survive. Well, how do scientists know how long they live in the first place? Because you can't look, once a bird reaches sexual maturity, you can't tell a five-year-old bird from a six-year-old bird to a 25-year-old bird from a 30-year-old bird. They look the same. So you can't look at a bird and tell you, oh, that bird's 12 years old. No, you can't do that because the appearance doesn't change. Now, in those early years of life, like the, the, the it takes five years for the bald eagle. Yes, you can tell a first-year bird, second-year bird, that kind of thing. But once they, in birds reach sexual maturity, you can't tell them apart. Well, so how do scientists do that? They use bird banding data. Bird banding. This is a, a, a you know, northern cardinal called net around a bird feeder here in Kansas City. And, and the scientist is getting the measurements. And, of course, they're going to put a leg band on that. So when they catch the bird, they, and then here, here's a limit to the system. This is an adult cardinal. And so the person banding it, doesn't know how old it is. All he can document 
is that it was an adult when it was caught. And then, of course, they put the leg bands on it. The leg bands look like this is on a ring bill gull uh, out there. And you got color bands and you got the metal standard band that's on all birds they band. And then certain projects use uh, bands that are colored so they can tell the birds apart from the distance. They know it came from their study, et cetera. But when it comes to aging them, all they can tell you is it was an adult when they caught it. Now, if it's a juvenile bird, they knew it was a it had hatched this year. That then they they know how old that bird is. But if it's an adult cardinal, they don't know when they catch it if it's two years old or six years old. So it, it, whenever they recapture the bird, uh, it, it, and they record the data that the band on the leg, and or if the bird's found dead and they're able to. Uh, uh, get the information off of it and get the information from the bander, they do know how long that bird has lived until it was found dead or died. So they give them estimates of age that way, uh, but they don't know exactly. So they, bird banding data takes a lot of data from a lot of time, a uh, long time to figure out like the ages of birds it, in their what is really their most reliable way of uh, accurately finding uh, the bird ages. So, of course, long-term studies uh, you, know, you, you, you that record birds returning to nesting and, and things like that over the years. But remember, not of our birds, we don't study anywhere close to that. Uh, they, they, we see them and we ban them. They never find them again. And so they, there's no information there. But the the system works to help us understand bird ages. Large birds, like the trumpeter swan, they, they, they don't, they, while they'll have, they do have a band on their leg, they use neck bands like this. They can do that. You can't put that on a chickadee, obviously. So they can use this with the big numbers so that we can observe that and record those numbers from a long distance. I did this out of college. We were uh, reading the neck bands on swans and, and uh, Canada geese and other bird waterfowl by by the neck bands, and so that gives us a, 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 a an avenue that we can actually monitor in a in a in a more distance. We don't have to catch the birds again to to get the information that we need. So that's a good example. And you know these large birds that they, they do tend to live longer. They uh, and we, we have good data on those. Now when we think about long lived birds, you know we had the hummingbird for short birds. Actually warblers are some of the shortest lived birds that we know of. High metabolism, catching insects, dangerous migrations. Uh, there's lots of reasons they, they live shorter lives. But parents Parrots are very famous for living long lives. And, you know, you're talking about parrots are 60, 70 years old. And, um, you know, there are all kind of stories out there of parrots that are over 100 years, that live to over 100. A lot of that data is not sound, but it's possible. You know, they, they, they these larger birds. And, of course, the, the most, the long-lived champion that we know of, uh, and, and it's still nesting, it's just amaz amazing, uh, is Wisdom, a uh, Laison albatross off the, the, the Hawaiian Islands. And she is, in, what, 68 years old now, I think, is where she is. And she laid another egg. So this is incredible that she's at, this is not her, by the way, this is just Laison albatrosses. Um, but a big ocean bird that they nest very infrequently and they live long, long lives. And so that's amazing. But again, how do you know? And, and so when people ask about um, how long birds live and they want, they want some examples, and, you know, uh, most songbirds, your cardinals in your backyard, to your chickadees, titmice, things like that, the average is about eight to 12 years from what, you know, our studies show us. Um, hummingbirds, like I said, six to eight years. Um, the warblers, three to six years, that, that, that even shorter than hummingbirds, really. And then hawks and owls, they live, oh, they think that between 30 and 40 years are really a, a, a good range for their you know, eagles. Same thing, a little over than that. Um, so they, they, a study I read said, if, they, if you, this is a trivial pursuit question for you and they want to know how long uh, wild birds live, tell them between four and 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're, then you're covered. So because it is so varied all over the board there. But, you know, they, they, on average, you know, they, like I said, if they can live past that first year, uh, then usually eight to 12 for most of the birds that we'll, we're familiar with, longer for larger birds like hawks and owls and, and of course, uh, so, swans and things like that. And so it's a great topic. It's just not as 
easy to answer as uh, you would think. You know, there's lots of variation in it. So it's a great topic, though, and I'm, I'm glad to, I was asked to present that. So uh, if you like the videos, please give us a like, give us a share. If you would with your friends, if you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know when I'm on next. Until next time, let's talk birds.